नमस्ते बेटिया आई एम जेवी एंड डॉक्टर एम पी शर्मा प्रोफेसर एंड एच ओ डी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजियोलॉजी एंड बायोकेमिस्ट्री फैकल्टी ऑफ होम्योपैथी साइंस टूडे माई टॉपिक इज टोटल काउंट ऑफ ल्यूकोसाइट्स और टोटल काउंट ऑफ डब्ल्यू बी सी दीज टू थिंग्स आर द सेम सो वट इज द एम ऑफ द today's topic today's topic aim is determination of tlc total count of leukocyte or total count of wbc now by, by this method we can determine the total count of wbc or total count of leukocytes what are the requirements for the t test the following things are the requirement number 1 newer counting chamber second wbc pipette third is glass slide fourth one is the microscope binocular microscope which we have in our physiology department sixth is lancet cotton and spirit and finally is the blood what is the blood what is the uh, need of this test for what purpose we are doing we need total count of leukocytes or wbc in our body blood so what is the procedure the procedure is this we can take all the requirements neat and clean on the table of the test then ask the patient please sit down and take the left hand of ring finger of patient then we can take we can take lancet in our right hand side and just we will put on the 45 angle on the ring finger so after pricking this lancet the blood is coming out and that blood we will collect on the glass slide on the glass slide in the center of the glass slide we can collect the blood then we should have our our wbc pipette and by this wbc pipette we can take the we can suck the blood up to the mark of 0.5 0.5 0.5 then we have wbc diaphragm fluid so we will suck up to the mark of the 11 up to the mark of 11 then just we can mix mix well gently and universally for 5 minutes for 5 minutes after 5 minutes we can keep this our wbc pipette on the table for the 5 to 10 minutes after we should take the newer counting chamber newer counting chamber newer counting chamber here we will have the wbc column wbc column four column of the each corner and each column is subdivided into 16 so we can say the total counts this four column 16 into 4 that is equal to 64 16 column or 
this multiply with the four columns so total count so sub sub column is 64 and out of that what we will do we can calculate we can see the columns dot 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 these are the wbc cells so we can calculate the wbc cells each column means 16 column into 4 column number 1 column number 2 column number 3 column number 4 so out of that we can calculate say for example it is 1 2 8 total number of cells is 1 2 8 so so that we can take it in calculation TLC is equal to N divided by number N means number of cells counted and divided by dilution factor 1 by 20 into 1 by 10 into 1 by 10 that is the depth factor into area counted means 4 simplify it just we can simplify it n into 10 into 20 divided by 4 so we can say the TLC is equal to n into 50 n into 50 means say for example 128 into 5 So total count of the WBC is 5400. Total count is 5400. 5, as per norm, as per the need of the TLC, it is 4000 to 11000 cubic per millimeter of blood. Some book also written 4000 to 10,000. So now this is uh, uh, our main motto that we can calculate the TLC or TWBC. Through this test we can calculate and we can judge the patient's TLC count that is about normal condition. Right now it is a case of the normal, but sometimes what happens in case of the infections, in case of the cancers, in case of the dengue, it is it may be rises. So that condition is known as leukocytosis. Leukocytosis. But sometimes it will be diminished. Sometimes it will be diminished means less. That condition is also known as leukopenia. Leukopenia. So this is the condition of the disease condition. When it will be rises, that condition is the leukocytosis. Leukocytosis. In case of the cancer, in case of the dengue or some infections is there if the patient is suffering from the eczema skin disease psoriasis that condition the TLC will be high as according to TLC is the high then ESR erythrocyte sedimentation rate is also high in case of the tuberculosis it is high normally it is 0 to 9 0 to 9 millimeter first hour first hour but it will be rises 0 to 54 84 in case of the tb tuberculosis tuberculosis so we can say the infectious disease or any kind of the disease the patient will be suffer who is the chronic cases this uh, TLC will be high, T 
here chicken low sometimes in case of the anemic condition if the patient's hemoglobin or rbc will be diminished that condition is also known as anemia it is sickle cell anemia pernicious anemia hemolytic anemia so in that condition hemoglobin will be down or due to that the rbc condition is a rbc cells will be decreases if the rbc condition rbc cells will be increases that condition is known as rbc conditions is increases rbc cells will be increases in the cases of the so many cases so when the cases which we have the low power low uh, conditions low number of the cells higher number of the cells this may be appears in the disease conditions now this is the case of the physiology now physiology is having the first definition it is the normal it is the branch of the medical science which deals the normal conditions of the organs means heart ka rate heart rate is 72 to 80 sometimes it will be increases that condition we will known as tachycardia blood pressure will be increases tachycardia blood pressure will decreases uh bradycardia 